Hello friends, my name is Miss Emily. I'm a librarian at the Morrisville Public Library in Morrisville, Indiana, and I'm happy you're here today. All right, let's get started. Let's see those clapping hands. Okay, we clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stop and sing hello. We stop and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stop and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Nice job. Have a seat. Hi friends. We are talking today about something called knitting. So knitting is something where you take a ball of yarn like this and you loop it around in such a way that it makes fabric like this. So this is knitting that I'm doing on very big needles so that you can kind of see how that works just a little bit. I've finished one row here. And so now I've got a row, or I've got several rows of looped thread, looped yarn, that come together to make kind of a fabric. So it's pretty cool, and I bet that you have some knitted things in your wardrobe. If you have sweaters like this, this is a knitted sweater. If you have something like some mittens, these are knitted mittens or a hat, maybe a hat like this, or a scarf. That's right. So there's lots of different designs and things that you can do with the yarn, but it's very versatile. It's stretchy. So I've got two words on the board here. We've got knit and yarn. Knit is spelled K-N-I-T. It's one of those tricky words that starts with a K, but that's silent, and it has an N sound at the beginning of it. And yarn is spelled Y-A-R-N. So we will have lots of songs and rhymes uh, about knitting and yarn today. So to start us off, I've got some books that I'd like to suggest. The first one is called Extra Yarn. And it is by Mac Barnett and illustrated by John Classen. And it's about a girl who finds a magical box. And that magical box has some yarn in it. And that yarn is filled with every different kind of color. And she lives in kind of a gray town and it's snowy and cold there. So she knits herself a sweater, but there's still more yarn. So she knits her dog a sweater. She knits all the people in her town sweaters and she just keeps going and knits sweaters for everything and um, if you want to learn more about this magical box and what happens with it I would check out extra yarn the next one I'd like to suggest is called farmer brown shears his sheep a yarn about wool this is by Terry Sloat and illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott and this is a great book about Farmer Brown, who has a lot of sheep on his farm, and he decides it is time to shear those sheep and make some yarn. And so the book goes through all the different things that the Farmer Brown has to do to get that, that yarn out of the sheep's wool. So they have to wash the wool, they have to card it and comb it clean, they spin it into yarn and then they dye it lovely colors and finally at the very end they knit it into sweaters. I know a rhyme about some sheep. I bet you do too. Ba ba black sheep. Let's do that one together. Here's my black sheep. There he is. So ba ba black sheep have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the mister and one for the dame. 
One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Oh, that's a good one. What about brown sheep? Hmm. What about brown sheep? Ba ba brown sheep, have you any wool? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, three needles full. One to mend a jumper, one to mend a frock, one for the little girl with holes in her socks. <gasps> what about <clears throat> pink sheep? Oh my goodness, there's no such thing as a pink sheep, but there is on our flannel board. Ba ba pink sheep, have you any wool? Yes, child, yes, child, three bags full. One for the kitten and one for the cats. And one for the guinea pig to knit some woolly hats. <laughs> what about this sheep? This sheep doesn't have any wool at all. Ba ba naked sheep, have you any wool? No friend, no friend, I'm cold right through. Ba ba naked sheep, what can we do? We'll knit a sweater for me and for you. Oh, we put a sweater on the naked sheep. Love it. He looks nice and warm now. There's a song that I really like that I am going to adapt for our theme today. It's called These Are My Glasses. It's by Lori Berkner. So if you want to look her up and listen to her sing it, that's always fun. But in the first verse, she talks about her glasses. Can you make glasses like this? That's right. And she talks about her book. Can you make a book with your hands? Here you go. In the second verse, we're going to keep our glasses and still have those. And then we're going to have our knitting. Okay, so these will be your knitting needles. And you'll knit like this. Okay, all right. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up that book. These are my glasses and this is my yarn. I put on my glasses and start to knit my yarn. Now I look, 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 and I knit, knit, knit. I put down my glasses and whoop, it's time to quit. You know how I like a really funny book, right? So I've got two funny books about knitting. The first one is called Leave Me Alone. It's by Vera Roskull, and it's about an old lady who lives with her family. And she's got a lot of people in her house. It is a very chaotic household, very big family. Uh, and they all look happy, but she would like to get some knitting done. But the kids are playing with her yarn and eating it and, and playing tag with it. Ugh. And so the old woman was at the end of her rope. So she decides that she has to go away to get some peace and quiet. She says, leave me alone. And she finds a place in the woods. But a bear bothers her there, so she packs up and she says, well, I guess I'm gonna go up the mountain. And everywhere that she goes, somebody is there to bother her and she can't do her knitting. So it's a funny book. She finally finds some peace and quiet, but you'll have to read the book to find out where she finds that. The next funny book is called Cat Knit. It's by Jacob Grant. And you might know if you have a cat at your house that they love to play with string and toys that look like yarn. They like to get all tangled up in that yarn. And this cat is no different. This cat loves the yarn that his person brought home. 
and he plays with it. And they had so much fun together. But then his person takes his yarn away. Oh my goodness. Um, so, Cat is lonely without his yarn, but they finally come back together in kind of a different format. So, Cat Knit, it's a really funny one, and I really like the expressions on the kitty's face. They're very funny to look at. So, if you know anyone who likes to knit like I do, you know that they like to have a lot of yarn. And so we are gonna do a rhyme about 10 balls of yarn. So here's our yarn, they're in all different colors. What colors do we have? We have black and blue and pink and brown, yellow and green, white, purple, orange and red. Oh, that's a lot of yarn. Can we count that together? Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten balls of yarn. Let's do a rhyme. Ten balls of yarn sitting in a bowl. One fell out, oh no, and started to roll. It bounced on my foot and there it sits. How many balls are left to knit? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine balls of yarn. Let me get nine fingers there. Nine balls of yarn sitting in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. It bounced on my foot and there it sits. How many balls are left to knit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls of yarn. Can you get eight fingers? There you go. Eight balls of yarn sitting in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. It bounced on my foot and there it sits. How many balls are left to knit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven balls of yarn. Okay, seven balls of yarn sitting in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. It bounced on my foot and there it sits. How many balls are left to knit? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six balls of yarn sitting in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. It bounced off my foot and there it sits. How many balls are left to knit? One, two, three, four, five. We're down to one hand. Five balls of yarn sitting in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. It bounced on my foot and there it sits. How many balls are left to knit? One, two, three, four. Four balls of yarn sitting in a bowl. One fell out and started to roll. It bounced on my foot and there it sits. How many balls are left to knit? One, two, three, getting down there. Three balls of yarn sitting in the bowl. One fell out and started to roll. It bounced on my foot and there it sits. How many balls are left to knit? One, two, two balls of yarn sitting in the bowl. One fell out and started to roll. It bounced on my foot and there it sits. How many balls are net left to knit? One. Only one left. You ready? One ball of yarn sitting in a bowl. It fell out and started to roll. It bounced on my foot and there it sits. How many yarns are left to knit? No more, zero. Nice job, my friends. Knitting is done with two needles, two knitting needles. So if you have 
two knitting needles at home. You can grab those, but if not, that's fine. You can get two pencils or two markers or two spoons even. And we're gonna use those uh, in our next two songs, okay? So if you need to pause the video, you can do that right now. Do you have your needles? I have mine. Okay. Click clack went the knitting needles one day. Click clack went the knitting needles. Click clack went the knitting needles one day. And they all went click click clack. But we know needles go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We know needles go la di da di da, they don't do click click clack. What about yarn? Roll, roll went the ball of yarn one day. Roll, roll went the ball of yarn. Roll, roll, went the ball of yarn one day, and they all went roll, roll, roll. But we know yarn goes rub a dub a dub, rub a dub a dub, rub a dub a dub. We know yarn goes rub a dub a dub. It doesn't go roll, roll, roll. Oh, nice job. Oh, that's a fun one. Our next song is one that you might recognize if you ever came to my in-person story times. It's called Tap Your Sticks. Oh, I'm so excited. This is a song by Hap Palmer, and we appreciate him giving us permission to play his recording during story time. So give him a thank you. All right, are you ready? Do you have your sticks? to share that one with you again. It reminds me of the time when we could be together in person. I have two more books to suggest for you today. And I really like to knit, but I wasn't very good at it at first. It took a lot of practice. So I really enjoyed this book called 
a hat for Mrs. Goldman. This is a story about knitting and love, and it's by Michelle Edwards and illustrated by G. Brian Carras. And it's about a young girl who, um, with her friend, Mrs. Goldman, makes hats for people who need them. So for friends and other people. Um, the little girl is not very good at knitting, so she makes all of the pom-poms that go on the top of the hats. Um, but Mrs. Goldman is kind of teaching her how to knit. And one day on their walk together, she notices that Mrs. Goldman doesn't have her own hat on. And she says that she gave it away to somebody else. And so um, Sophia, the little girl, is really worried about Mrs. Goldman because she doesn't have a hat. It's really cold out. And so she works so hard to make Mrs. Goldman a hat. And it doesn't quite turn out exactly the way she thinks it will, but it turns out great anyway. So this is a book that is really sweet and it's about perseverance and um, making things for the people you love. Those are the best gifts. <clears throat> Another book about knitting is called Knit Together. This is by Angela Dominguez. And this is about a little girl who doesn't know how to knit, but her mother does. Her mother really likes to knit. Uh, and the little girl likes to draw. And so they decide to make something together. So the little girl draws something and designs it and mom makes it. And it's another one that's really sweet about making things for the ones you love. So speaking of hats, I've got an action rhyme for us today. Can you pretend that you have a knit hat on, a beanie? There you go, all right. So, hats up, hats down, doff your hat and turn around. Hats up, hats down, put your hat back on your crown. Nice job. Can we do that one again? I need to get a few more wiggles out. All right, hats up, hats down, doff your hat and turn around. Hats up. Hats down, put your hat back on your crown. Nice job. I've got one more song for us. I really wish I was a little warmer right now. Oh, I wish I was a fuzzy wuzzy blanket. for. I'm still cold. Let's see. Oh, I wish I was a fuzzy wuzzy scarf. That is what I truly like to be. For if I was a fuzzy wuzzy scarf, everyone would snuggle up with me. Ooh, look at that. What a beautiful scarf that my friend Kelly made for me. I'm still cold though. What else should we ask for? Hmm. my friends. I had so much fun with our knitting and yarn story time today. I hope you did too. 
So if you stop by the library, you can get our packet. Of, as always, it has our sheet that has lots of different books for you to check out, our rhymes and songs that we did today, and something fun to color on the back. And um, this week is not exactly a craft, it's more of an activity. So you'll have a letter Y, Y is for yarn, and it's got these holes in it, and a piece of yarn that is taped on the ends to make it easy to lace through the holes and do some sewing. So lacing is a great activity for kids to develop lots of different skills. Things like uh, fine motor skills, hand-eye coordination, our motor planning, where we're putting our muscles to work, uh, visual perception, uh, it's improving it, their attention and their patience. So lots of great things come out of lacing cards like this one. So it is fun to do as well. And you can end up with something that is like this, or if they go all over the different place and yarn goes in different places, as long as it's through a hole, that is fine. That's the end of our story time. If you liked this video, please do like and subscribe to the Mooresville YouTube page. We appreciate that. But it's time to tickle the stars, okay? All right, get your tickling fingers. We'll tickle the stars. And we'll tickle our toes. We'll turn around and tickle our nose. Tickle, tickle, tickle. We'll reach down low and reach way up high. Story time is over, so wave goodbye. Goodbye, my friends.